Hello and welcome to another Curve Guide. Today we are looking at the tri pool. In just two weeks, it's become the second biggest pool on Curve. It's been doing a ton of volume and the returns have been quite high. You can see you can get about 2% uh, from the trading fees, as well as between 18% and 47% from the CRV. So we're going to look at how to get the fees and how to get CRV as well. So when you're ready to get started, you can click on the pool and you're going to get prompted to connect MetaMask. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to land on this page and you can click on deposit. As you can see, it's detected the DAI and USDT in my wallet. Uh, I just want to deposit USDT, so I'm going to uncheck this box and then I can just type zero into the input just there. Once you deposit, you receive LP tokens. They are liquidity provider tokens. So each pool has got a different one and they represent your share of ownership into the pool. Something else you might notice is that I'm getting a bit of slippage that will depend on which coin you deposit. So if I change this and enter die, you can see I'm getting a small bonus. The way that you can figure this out is to scroll to the bottom of the page and you can see that DAI has the smallest share into the pool right now. That means that if you deposit it, you're going to get a small bonus just because DAI is slightly more expensive right now. So you have two options there to get started, either deposit or deposit and stake. We want to stake for CRV, so we are going to click deposit and stake. Uh, once that happens, you're going to get a few transactions to confirm. So I'm getting my first transaction on MetaMask and I'm going to confirm that one. Just with fast gas. Uh, the second one you can see costs about $10. But you can see on the screen it says it's going to actually come down to $5. That's just because MetaMask tends to overestimate the prices of transactions. So I'm going to confirm this one as well. As you can see, this pool is quite cheap to deposit in. The gas right now is about 100 and it's going to cost about $10 to deposit and stake, which is quite reasonable. Uh, so that transaction is now confirmed. After a couple of seconds here, I'm going to get a third one, which is to approve the spending of my LP tokens. So I'm going to approve that one as well. And then finally, I'm going to get the fourth transaction, which will stake my LP tokens on the gauge. So remember the price that you see, it's going to be a bit less. Uh, you can see the estimated cost on the left on the curve screen is about $8. Once you've confirmed this fourth transaction, you can see that uh, you're waiting for the stake transaction to confirm and that you haven't got anything else to do. So now that my transaction has confirmed, I can check out my deposit in the pool. I can see that my $5,000 have been split into the three coins in the pool. So as you can see, I've now got DAI, USDC and USDT in the pool. So now we're going to have a look at the profit page and how to claim CRV. So if you scroll to the top and click on profit, you will see that you can get an estimate of how much US dollars you're going to get every day. And those are the trading fees that you're going to get. So now you're also going to get CRV and to do so you need to click on DAO at the top and on this page you're going to find all of the gauges. Each gauge can hold a different LP token and they will distribute CRV. So if you scroll to the bottom of this page you are going to be able to see your deposit. You're also going to be able to claim CRV and you're going to be able to see your current boost. If you remember on the home page at the start, there were two different returns for CRV, one unboosted and one boosted one. So I've already got the maximum one, 48%, which is the boosted one. And we'll be looking at how boosting works in an upcoming video.